Hello everyone and welcome to Tuition Academy. This is a platform where students will be getting a free uh, revision and uh, tuition lessons, especially as our as per our 844 curriculum actually. Uh, I've decided to start this program because uh, I be, we know that uh, right now the world is going through a very difficult time where we are, are being faced by the corona pandemic. And actually, I've seen it important that just because our students are at home does not mean that uh, learning stop. I'm a strong believer of uh, that every child is actually entitled to quality education. And uh, in my small means, I've seen it important that uh, we can actually uh, do some revision about uh, various uh, subjects in uh, which are offered in high school. Uh, uh, yeah, in high school actually. So personally, I'm a, a mathematics and physics teacher, but uh, with time, I'll actually be engaging other teachers so that uh, uh, we also provide free lessons for other subjects, especially the sciences. You all know that uh, most of our students in the country actually have a negative attitude towards science subjects, and uh, um, uh, this should not be the trend because uh, science is one of the most uh, practical subjects uh, in the world because it gives solutions it answers the question the questions why and how so if you are a parent or maybe you are a student or you are a teacher actually or you have a relative who is a student actually this is a platform that is going to be very beneficial to them so join me hand so that uh, and help help me access those students so that they can benefit from uh, this program so uh first of all I've said that uh, I'll be starting with uh, physics and actually I'll be to, for today I'll be handling the very first topic in uh, high school that is a uh, syllabus that is physics which is called uh, introduction to physics but before I even introduce physics we also we need to know where this uh, the subject we are calling physics is coming from actually physics is a discipline under uh, what we call a big category called science and uh, I believe in a primary school, you actually did science as a subject as per our 844 curriculum. Uh, in, when you come to high school, actually this science is subdivided into three main categories or discipline or subdivisions. One is what we call uh, biology. I'm not very good in biology, but I believe it's the study of living organisms. I, I can remember we have two main branches, that is uh, botany and zoology. We also have another discipline actually which is called uh, chemistry. Chemistry actually deals with uh, maybe uh, the study of the properties of matter and uh, doing some uh, maybe practical experiments using uh, chemicals. Actually the other day a friend uh, of mine was actually telling me that uh, to help him with ideas so that we can come up with a project on how to extract alcohol from a sanitizer <laughs> so and actually the third division is actually what we are calling physics which is now now my area of actually specialization what I'll be handling so uh, in physics first of all we need to know where the word physics itself is uh, emanating or originating from physics actually emanated from a, a Latin word called physica that is pH y s i c a from latin it was actually translated to greek and they also called it physica now p h y s i k a now the word physica itself actually means uh, uh uh the natural things the natural things so that gives you a clue that actually physics deals with the, the natural ph phenomena yeah the main purpose of the science subjects is actually to explain why and how things are the way they are. So let's get started. So introduction to physics, that is our very first topic. Actually, uh, our books of reference, uh, the main book of reference here is uh, KLB, Secondary uh, Physics Students Book 1. Yeah. So we'll start by defining actually the term physics. And uh, before you understand the term physics, there are a few terms that you also need to understand or we remind ourselves. One of the terms is what we are calling matter. 
So you did define matter in primary school as uh, anything that has mass or weight and can occupy what? Space. Meaning even a human, be a, a human body like myself, I'm actually matter. Why? Because I have some weight or some mass. Actually, the only difference between mass and weight is the gravitational pull because weight is equal to what? Mass times gravity. So, I'm um, matter because I have mass and I've actually occupied space. Remember, the amount of space occupied by a body, in physics we call it what? Volume. We call it volume. We also need to understand the term energy because uh, I believe energy in primary school, you did define it as the ability to do work. Yeah. So energy is the ability to do work. Now, so when we define physics, actually physics itself uh, refers to uh, the study of uh, the relationship between matter and energy. Yeah. So physics is defined as the study of relationship between uh, energy and matter. Yeah. The study of matter, or simply put it, the study of matter and its relation to energy the study of matter and its relation to energy now having defined and understood what we actually mean by the term physics there are some disciplines or what we call the branches which fall under the physics actually as a title now there are actually six main branches of physics one is what we call uh, mechanics two we have what we call electricity and uh, magnetism Three, we have what we call uh, waves. We also have uh, thermodynamics. We also have uh, geometrical optics. And lastly, we have what we call the atomic physics. So I want us to uh, actually dwell and dive into uh, uh, the content matter of actually what these uh, each and every branch actually uh, deals with or associates itself with. So allow me to start with the very first branch of physics, what, what, which we are calling actually mechanics. So mechanics as a branch of physics actually deals with uh, um, uh, the study of uh, um, uh -huh, the study of uh, motion of bodies under the influence of force. That whenever a body is moving, actually there must be some force involved. For example, if you put an object, for example, if I put actually a stone on my hand this way, there are forces acting on this stone. We all know that, that we have the uh, reaction forces acting from upwards that is provided by my hand. Then we also have the action forces which is acting downwards, which is actually provided by the weight of this particular stone. Yeah. So actually we are saying that mechanics uh, is a branch of physics that deals with the motion of bodies but under the influence of force. That is the very branch of physics, mechanics. The study of motion of bodies under the influence of force. The second branch of physics is what we are calling uh, thermodynamics, actually. Now, thermodynamics, we need to uh, divide or to break the term itself. Thermodynamics, it is actually made from two terms. The first term is actually thermo. The second one is dynamics. Now thermo, thermal actually, or thermo from uh, English definition, it simply means what? Heat. Then dynamics is actually uh, means that uh, when uh, something is changing. When something is changing, we say it is that particular thing is what? Dynamic. So that gives you a clue that thermodynamics as a branch of physics, it will actually be dealing with actually uh, the relationship between uh, energy as it changes uh, yeah that is dynamics at its changes to different forms therefore we are defining thermodynamics as a branch of physics as thermodynamics therefore is a branch of physics that deals with the transformation of heat to and from other forms of what energy that is we have different forms of energy we have what we call the electrical energy we have the uh, mechanical energy, we have uh, the light energy and uh, chemical energy and other forms of energy. That whenever heat is transformed from one form of energy to another, then we are actually defining what we call thermodynamics. 
the study of transformation of heat to and from other forms of what energy for example when an electric uh, heater is connected into a socket actually the electric heater because it has a coil which is made of a material of very high electrical resistance actually it converts electrical energy to heat energy yeah we can also have uh, maybe a light bulb a bulb actually converts electrical energy into light energy although some of the energy is lost in form of heat that's why whenever you touch a bulb uh, when uh, actually the circuit is closed you realize that it feels somehow warmer yeah it feels warmer now we have discussed two branches of physics that is mechanics and thermodynamics the third branch of physics that we are discussing is actually what we call electricity and magnetism electricity and magnetism so that the term itself actually gives you a clue that uh, the branch has something to do with what electric current and magnetic fields so we are defining uh, electricity and magnetism as a branch of physics as it is a branch of physics that actually uh, deals uh, with uh, the relationship between electric current and magnetic what fields yeah and their extensive application in the working of instruments such as an electric uh, motor we have uh, magnetic relays and even telephone what receivers so electricity and magnetism as a branch of physics is actually a branch of physics that deals with uh, the study of the relationship between um, electric current and magnetic fields and their extensive application in the working of electric uh, motors uh, magnetic relays and telephone receivers when we actually get to form 4 in a topic called uh, electromagnetic induction we'll be looking at how uh, we can actually produce electricity uh, in the presence of magnetic fields and an electric uh, a conduct actually which is being rotated within a magnetic field in that same same topic you learn about what we call the faraday's law which is actually coming from uh, a scientist who was called uh, Michael Watt Faraday yeah so we have discussed three branches that is mechanics uh, electricity and magnetism then we have also uh, discussed thermodynamics the fourth branch of physics is actually what we are calling geometric optics geometric optics geometric is from the word geometry actually I'm sure you have interacted with the word geometry from uh, construction either in a primary school or even in a, any other place maybe if you've done uh, it in mathematics maybe it is uh, one of the topics in mathematics although it is found in a uh, KLB book one at the very very last topics actually so optics now optics actually uh, means uh, maybe we have uh, things to do with the uh, lenses maybe vision like the eye yeah so we have various optical instruments such as uh, maybe the microscope we can talk of the telescopes we can talk of the periscopes so actually geometric optics as a branch of physics actually it uh, deals uh, with uh, um, um, uh, it, it actually studies how light traverses what various media so it is a branch of physics that deals with the uh, uh, um, the propagation of light uh, as it traverses what various media that is when we talk of med various media we have medium like air light can be moving from air maybe to water medium or maybe from air to glass whereby you will be studying properties like what a refraction properties like refraction so we have discussed actually four branches of physics now the fifth branch of physics is what we are calling a atomic physics atomic physics so atomic physics actually it is a branch of physics that uh, deals uh, with uh, the particles uh, constituting the nucleus and their uh, occurring energy changes actually is the study of particles constituting their the nucleus and their corresponding what energy changes that is when we talk of particles constituting the nucleus if you are a good chemistry student you will know that we are actually talking of what the protons and the neutrons 
although there are other particles which are very important in physics what we call the electrons which are actually found in the uh, the outer uh, most layers or what you call the energy levels so actually we are saying that atomic physics is actually a branch of physics uh, that uh, uh, deals uh, with uh, the study of what particles constituting the nucleus and the energy changes uh, occurring as a result of that so under atomic physics you will meet topics like uh, radioactivity actually you will meet things like uh, nuclear fusion and nuclear fission yeah you will understand them when we learn a uh, radioactivity in uh, form 4 i believe there is one branch of physics that is uh, remaining and that is what we call the waves yeah so waves actually this is a branch of physics uh, that uh, uh, deals with the propagation of energy through space yeah it's a branch of physics that uh, deals with the propagation of energy through space yeah that is what we call a wave. So under waves, you will be learning properties like uh, uh, we have uh, properties of waves, things like uh, to do with uh, refraction, things to do with uh, diffraction, things to do with interference. And I cannot complete this uh, very first uh, uh, session of ours without giving you a very good story, actually, of uh, a given uh, young man uh, who was uh, seated at the banks of uh, a given road. Yeah. I believe most of my students are actually can understand Swahili, so allow me to switch to Swahili. Yeah. So pale zama za kale, pale, nilikuwa na babu yangu, alikuwa napenda kuka kando kando pamto, akiangalia maji ya ki pita. Sasa alipoka pale mjuku wake wakaja, akamuliza, babu mbona onekana kusongwa na mawazo, hivi ni lipi lina kusibu, ni kusaidie kwa mawazo. Basi babu yake akamwambia mimi nilikuwa naangalia haya maji na jaribu kujiuliza je, haya maji yangekuwa chai ningeyamaliza na chapati ngapi? <laughs> Thank you guys for being there for this lesson actually. We can have a, a, a quick review through our lesson. We have defined physics as the study of matter and its relationship to energy. We have discussed the six branches of physics. One is actually mechanics, we have thermodynamics, we have uh, actually geometric optics, we have uh, waves, we have atomic physics and electricity and magnetism. So maybe in case you didn't find them well, uh, I can actually take you through what each branch actually constitutes. So you have said that mechanics is the study of motion of bodies under the influence of force. We have said that uh, electricity and magnetism deals with uh, the relationship between electric current and magnetic fields and their extensive application in the working of what magnetic relays and uh, motors and even telephone receivers we have also looked at geometrical optics which actually is a branch of physics that deals with the uh, uh, propagation of light uh, the study of propagation of light as it traverses uh, various media we also looked at atomic physics which actually uh, deals with uh, the study of particles constituting the nucleus and their corresponding what energy changes we have also looked at waves which is actually um the study of uh, propagation of energy through space yeah the study of propagation of energy through space we have also looked at what thermodynamics i said the word thermo means heat dynamics means to change so thermodynamics is actually a branch of physics that uh, uh, deals with the uh, um transformation of the study of transformation of heat uh, to and from other forms of energy thank you guys uh, feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel it is called uh, tuition academy i hope this will be a, a channel that students will find very helpful for their studies uh, thank you and welcome to my next class which i'll be posting very soon we'll actually be completing the topic introduction to physics i love you guys god bless thank you